Oh, sorry if I speak with a lisp. It's because El Gore's punched my teeth out. Because I nuked my island. <laughs> and, um... That pissed him off no end. He's there, picking up litter, and he sees me nuking my island. And he's just like... Oh, forget it. <laughs> Why do I even bother? Why do I even bother? So he punched me in the face. And I fell and cried amongst sausage rolls and Tesco's original biscuits. But yeah, on another note, welcome to Tropico 4 with Uneven Odds. I'm your host, Flyaway Joes, and, um, Al Gore's a dick. <laughs> uh, I don't care, I'm not American. <laughs> uh, probably better than Bush, though. At least he was fun. This invade Iraq, alright. Good times, good times. Oh, yeah, the environmentalists on the island um, are not very pleased with me because I nuked the... Because <laughs> I cut down trees, brackets, traitors, and um, allowed my island to be used for nuclear testing. Though, I think you'll find nuclear testing will one day save them all via robots. So I was just looking out over the ocean there, waiting for the ship and my beloved to arrive. I don't know when they're going to come. I don't have a beloved, so probably never. Um, so I'm just building a few more farms and ranches, you know, getting a, getting a good sense of the community up, you know. I'm, I'm not building allotments, you know. It's not an island for OAPs. It's, um, it's a cool sort of island where a man can hit a llama and not be called broke back. When a man can brand a cattle and not have to be in America. When a man can love a sheep and not be Welsh. Very much an island for the free. <laughs> so, this is just construction. I haven't yet found out how you fast forward the game. So, this might turn out to be a more lengthy process than you first imagined. But, you know, at least you've got me. <laughs> At least you've got me talking straight into the mic, and then right into your ear. Listening as your eardrum <laughs> bounces off my every word. Oh yes. Oh yes, boy. Oh yes. So, I'm just trying to um, build a lumber mill so we can actually do something with all these logs. Because, you know, the environmentalists will like this. I'm sure they will like a mini industrial revolution happening on their doorstep. You know? I, I'm, I am the people's prince. Well, much like... You are late. Oh. Hurry and do my manicure. <laughs> Bloody hell. That <laughs> frightened the life out of me. Who is that? Oh, it's El Presidente. Morning, El Presidente. I see you have the voice of a nympho today, which is weird because you were a bearded bloke the earlier. Castro and his many sex changes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to try and start some controversies on this island so I have something to write about in my autobiography. You know, it's called the Tony Blair approach. And I, it's, it's going great. It's going great. Um... That my computer has just turned off, so I am now looking at a black screen. Um, oh, the ship's arrived! Ah, oh, finally, all my imports. This crate is full of leaks. What am I going to do with leaks? It's filled with leaks, copper wool, and Toy Story. Who the hell ordered this? <laughs> El Presidente, I lent you my credit card and confidence. What have you done? What sort of leak-throwing Buzz Lightyear party are you going to have? And why was I invited? Ah, <laughs> oh, gah. Gah, El Presidente. Gah. <laughs> Even Al Gore was better than you, and he punched me in the face with brass knuckles. <laughs> Honestly, some people get so touchy about the environment. I mean, I like it, but I don't want to suffer to keep it alive. I mean, Mother Nature should support us. And Cradle us in her Tropico. bosom. The new house of the Lord has opened its doors to all faithful followers. Father Esteban, it's a word on, brother. Not word a on. No, silly girl. We must be progressive and take every opportunity to praise His name. 
that, that is of course the name of El Presidente. <laughs> all hail me, all hail me. Well, you know, this is what happens when you're in charge. This is why Tropico 4 is such a good game. Because Tropico 4, you can build a church, devote it to you, and if anyone protests, shoot them in the head. Who cares? It's a computer game and you're El Presidente. <laughs> of course, what they don't tell you <laughs> is if a child wishes when holding the mouse, it sometimes comes true. Yeah. I learnt that when watching Back to the Future, and as my dad always said, Never play Buckrat with a muskrat, which has come in useful in more than one situation, I can tell you. Um, one thing I am hoping to eradicate as El Presidente on this island is um, child poverty. Because if Tim Burton's book, The Melcon the, Mel Ugh, the Sadden Death of an Oyster Boy, has taught me anything, is that if you have a child and your child has the head of an oyster and his dad is forced to drink it so he can make love to his wife someone needs to step in and stop it and that person should be El Presidente <laughs> um, actually you should probably get more on topic and remember that this is an actual game and that I'm not El Presidente but sometimes I do wonder I mean if El Gore can be Batman and Superman <laughs> Why can't I be El Presidente? I'm not asking for much, El. <laughs> oh, the lumber mill. I've planted the construction. The seeds of destruction. <laughs> um, soon all the trees shall be gone, and I shall have a beautiful view of the sea. Though, the sea will probably be blocked by the giant lumber mills I've built. It's not practical thinking, but at least I'm thinking outside the box. Though if what you want is inside the box, you should probably get back on track. Um, do do do. Just ooh, just seeing how my oil refinery's doing. Terrible. I'm getting a little angry with them. If she wasn't a woman, I would pimp slap her. <laughs> Cause she pimp slap men, not women. Oh no. Not in Tropico 4. <laughs> um, what else is there to say? Um, maybe I'll, in time I'll be able to set up a TV station so we can have our annual Hootenanny, which will be great. <laughs> um, I'm mainly just thinking of people to kill right now. Uh... The housing. Oh, the housing. I've been told to mention the housing. Um, well, I was thinking maybe I'd just buy them more sleeping bags and they could sleep under the stars, but, you know, they don't want to do that, so I guess I'm going to have to execute them. Too bad, I thought I liked the game, but I know. Tune into the next episode to find out if anyone survives. So long. <laughs>